Alejandro Roshan. What were you smoking? Were you really focused? Were you drinking potion? Alejandro Roshan. Were you really focused? Tell me where you're smoking. Drinking all the potion. Alejandro Roshan. What were you smoking? Tell me if you focus. Drinking all the potion. Alejandro Roshan. What's up, my people? This is Showbiz the Adult. All of my show business partners, thank you for joining me in my live stream. It was a huge success. It was awesome and it was a lot of fun. But I'm getting a lot of mail from you guys asking me, what do I feel about the outcome? First and foremost, I want to say, this video will be short. Why? Because I cannot stand for long. I have this crutch that is keeping me up just for a short period of time and I'm in pain as we speak. So, who did I have winning the fight? Tyson Fury. I think Tyson Fury outboxed Deontay Wilder. The fight was a classic. I enjoyed myself. I'm not losing my mind. I love the fight, okay? The fight was a classic. And the fight went exactly in a way that made it so difficult for me to call for a year. Okay, now I remember talking about this fight like a year ago if it were to happen. And I said that is a difficult fight to call for the exact reason that we saw Saturday night. Tyson Fury would outbox Deontay Wilder for 12 rounds. He would box circles around that man. But... Deontay Wilder, he has a puncher's chance, and his puncher's chance is significant because he only has to graze you. So there was no way I could see Tyson Fury not getting hit or grazed once by Deontay Wilder. If that happens, he hits the deck. My question was, how many times will he hit the deck, and will he stand up every time? What I didn't know is that he can hear Mickey. Tyson Fury can hear Mickey. And the way he got up in the 12th round was some magic Rocky Balboa stuff. That dude went from zero and sleep to be like, oh, and he got up. That was incredible. And that what makes that fight a classic. But I have Tyson Fury winning the bout and I have him winning by one point. Why? Because Deontay Wilder, in my opinion, won two rounds outside of the rounds that he knocked him down in, meaning that Tyson Fury won by one point. If he didn't drop Tyson Fury in the 12th round, then, you know, it would have been a larger margin. But that second knockdown closed the gap. So Tyson Fury, in my opinion, won by a point or two. With that being said, when they said that it was a draw, nowhere in my mind did I think robbery. Why? Because I think the fight was close. Point-wise, it was close. Skill-wise, it wasn't close at all. I do understand why you guys out there is saying robbery because Alejandro Roshan, this guy scored it 115, 111 for Deontay Wilder. Nowhere should anyone have thought that Deontay Wilder won the fight by more than a half a millimeter second of a point. This guy must be one of three things. A great judge who was paid off, an idiot, or an idiot who was paid off. That's the only three things that he can be, okay? So I looked him up. I looked him up. Come to find out this guy is in the California Hall of Fame. He's in the California Hall of Fame for judging because he judged over a thousand bouts. So, I looked at the scorecard. I said, what rounds did he give Deontay Wilder? He gave that boy the first four. The first four. He must have been looking through Stevie Wonder's glasses. That's for all you guys who enjoyed the live stream. I had a problem with that. So, let me know what you guys think about this judge. This judge is in the California Hall of Fame. So, do you think that he's a great judge that was paid off? Or do you think that he was an idiot? Or do you think that he's an idiot who's been paid off? So, let me know what you think. Comment below. And, show biz the adult. I can't hop right now.
paint. And I'm sweating. I'm about to get some, uh, spikes. Listen to showbiz. Wait, I like boxing. <laughs> <laughs>